Welcome to the Hydraulic Press channel. Today we have real science video. We are going to test how strong is concrete. And we have these five different types of concrete here. And thanks to Wape and Rudus for providing the test samples. These are from their local concrete factories, test laboratory. So these are the same test samples as they use to make sure that their product is up to the standards. And we have five concrete samples. We have weak as floor concrete and then a couple on the between and then we have high strength concrete that is made to be used on bridges here in Finland and it has to be also able to withstand the cold and salt from the like road, road salt, salt. This is pretty straightforward and I can calculate how strong this should be but I'm not going to spoil it before the tests. I'm going to tell it on the end of the video. Okay, this is the first one, regular basic floor concrete and it doesn't have any extra flavoring into it. So let's see how strong it is. I can say that we surely can crush it, but I'm not going to tell more. And I'm going to go quite slowly so we can read the reading. I was a bit worried that it's going to be a shitload of dust, but it hardly made any dust. It was like much more explosive than I thought. I, I thought that it's going to like slow the crumble. Yeah, me too. But that was quite violent. Yeah. Let's see if we got the high speed. Yeah. We had some problem with the triggering cable. Huh, we got it. Yes. Come have a look. And this is monochrome camera, because this doesn't need so much light and it's running 5,000 frames per second. Concrete is also uh, not that colorful, so... <laughs> <laughs> no might might use the monochrome camera here when it's... Oh, check the eyes! <laughs> <laughs> okay, here it goes. <laughs> Aww. Yeah, this is super nice. Yeah, it was it, it, it's like one side. Yeah, but this is the this is the uh, same. They always fail like this. Oh. This is the same uh, failure method as on the window killer brass cylinder. Oh. Down it goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the eyes are the eyes are the oh. thing. It's so nice. Bomb. Okay, let's check what is the next concrete concrete type that we have. Then the next one, this is the same regular floor concrete, but this has macro fibers in it. So they are a bit like the steel things on the concrete, just much smaller. So they're going to make this stronger, but how much stronger? That's the question. Okay, here we go again. 73 tons to beat. You can see the fibers and they clearly work because it's like cracked, but it still stays together. Yeah. I think I'm going to save it like that. It's so yeah. funny looking. <laughs> I don't want to destroy it because yeah. now it's really weak, but it looks so funny. Yeah, but it, was, it looks also tougher guy than the last one. The last one Yeah, was yeah, yeah. just that's, funny guy, but this yeah. is the tough guy. Yeah, yeah, but hey. Fibers, they are good for you. <laughs> Eat your veggies. <laughs> okay, and then the next one. My note says that this is house building concrete. Hmm. So if you are going to build a house, 
you are going to build it from this. And this is also probably the same that we are going to use on our uh, uh, future press bunker. So this is the probably last video with the safety box 5 million. We are going to build press bunker 10 million. It's so goddamn good that it's straight straight to 10 million, no 5 million needed. Yeah, and it ha also has the uh, wife window 5 million. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like perfect in every way. But we are going to make video on Build the Press channel about the bunker very soon. But here we go with the house building concrete. This doesn't have any fibers. This should be slightly harder. God. The whole press stopped. That was much stronger. How much was it? Can we even cross the next ones? Yeah, we can. Yeah. That was like almost 20 tons more than the floor concrete. Next ones are bridge concrete. Oh. Those are even harder. Oof. But uh, yeah, complete mayhem in the box. Okay, here it goes. Oh, Mr. Nice Guy. <laughs> Going down. <laughs> Looks almost like some building. Mm. Building collapse. Oh, oh, the GoPro goes. Yeah. Boom. Yeah, I, I'm going to say that the next one is going to be interesting because they are even harder. Okay, now we are going to probably go over 100 tons because this is much stronger. This is concrete meant for bridges and this can take the freezing cold and also the salt that they spread around here during the winter to keep the roads not super slippery. So, so let's see how it goes. And then we have one after this that is going to be even stronger. That was really strong. Ooh. The table jumped out from its place. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, check this. Not optimal. <laughs> Not optimal. Yeah, we have to. <laughs> we have to drop that in back its place. Yeah, but that was a that was a loud, loud explosion. Let's see the high speed. <laughs> yeah, this was first one to lose its face. Yeah. Just explodes. Yeah. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, what a mess. Oh. Yeah. They say it uh, from the like concrete laboratory that the, these don't explode super much, <laughs> but they don't have this flexible press. Mm. So concrete doesn't usually explode, it's just our press that makes, makes it explode. Because the table stretches so much when you press it down, and when the concrete lets, let, lets it go, then it really goes. Yeah, but we are going to clean up this and put the last one in. Okay, then the last one. This is the same concrete as the previous one, but this has small steel wipe fibers in. So, based on the first fiber thing, I think this is about the same strength, but it's going to stay more intact when it goes. So it's not so prone to like going all over the place after first small crack. And the steel fibers inside of this, they are doing the same thing as the like regular steel reinforcing things. So they are not adding like compressive strength that much. Concrete is already plenty good on that, but they make it better on like other directions. So we probably cannot see the full benefit of those here on this test. And here we go. 
going to play loud as hell. Yeah, again, we have the unfortunate table situation, but <laughs> I can fix it. Hmm, that went well. Yeah, but the uh, thing split in two. The, co the steel wires are much bigger than I thought. Mm, they are quite big. Yeah. Ooh. Check those at the back. Interesting that they can just mix them there. Like so large. Yeah, let's have a let's have a look on the high speed. I think that's going to be interesting. Right through the fire. Hey, check. Oh. There is like small things going on. Yeah. Before oh. the thing and then it goes. There are some metal strings also flying. Yeah, those are like extra shrapnel. Yeah. Boom. Yeah, really interesting. And here are the results and they are actually really easy to calculate because the first number on the concrete type thing, it means how many megapascals the concrete can take of pressure in this specific test. And then the next sec second number that's the megapascals on like cube test, but we tested the cylinders and I calculated the expected results that these have to pass and they are much, much stronger, but that's partly because these are quite old. These are made on start of the summer and it's now Christmas. So they are quite old. Usually these are tested after one month and the concrete keeps getting harder after that. Yeah, but I think this was really interesting and I have still five more samples. So if you have some other ideas that we should test with the concrete, please let us know. And that is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.